and welcome to week 38 in my fourth grade class. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Marieli Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. As you can tell, I feel much better today from the last time I left you. Last week, Thursday, I did not come on Friday and it was so good I did that because I spent the whole day in bed. And then for my birthday, which was on Saturday, I woke up feeling better and I was able to get a whole bunch of little birthday freebies that I go around and get and had a great time with my family. My brother took us to a pokey place and had some pokey bowls, so that was really nice. This morning we had our fourth grade end of the year award ceremony and it was such a beautiful event. The parents were so appreciative and they just had nothing but positive words to say for both myself and my co-teacher. We actually ended up having our ceremony separately in our separate classrooms because we knew it was going to be a lot of people and we couldn't fit everyone into the room. I had a full packed house and it was so nice to see all the students and their parents together celebrating their accomplishments and everything that we've done together this year. And as you can tell from my very empty room, all of my homeroom students went home with their parents after the ceremony. The few book bags I have here are from students from my afternoon class, which will come in a little bit later. So because my co-teacher and I share students, she has them right now for a little bit, and then later on I will have them to finish off the day. So yeah it's been such a nice day so far and it was like i said very nice to be able to celebrate my students accomplishments with all of their families and now i just have a lot of things to put my mind on what i need to do because i need to start packing up this classroom for the end of the year something i am not looking forward to doing but needs to get done so I don't know if I'm going to catch up with you at the end of the day, but that's all that I have for today. Monday, there's not any teaching going on. It's just going to be a laid back day of organizing and putting things away. So if I don't get back to you later today, I will see you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. It is now the end of the day on Wednesday. Yesterday, I didn't come back to talk to you because there wasn't anything else that we did after i left left you today i started with my block one this morning and we finished reading percy jackson students absolutely loved it and i will do the same thing with my block two tomorrow we started reading chapter 21 today but we ran out of time and we took the kids outside for recess so we'll finish reading the book tomorrow as well and tomorrow we'll also watch the movie but i'm gonna get going because last night i had a really bad sore throat had a really bad sore throat throughout the entire night up until this morning. It doesn't really bother me right now, but I know I need to rest and let my body recover because I realized that I haven't fully gotten better from being sick. And yeah, I asked permission to leave right now when the students left at dismissal because earlier in the year, I think it was January, I was part of literacy night. And one of the things they told us is that we could leave when the students leave on one Wednesday and I haven't used it yet. And next week is the last Wednesday of school year, so might as well do it today because next week I'll be working on packing this room together because I haven't had the energy to do so. Yesterday I had the award ceremony, like I mentioned, and yeah, I just looked around everything I have to do in this room and I didn't do anything, and today I'm not doing anything either. But again, I should listen to my body and go and rest. But I did put the desk back together. So they're back together to the butterfly, this one. This side over here is wobbly because, you know, kids move desks as the day goes by. But did put that desk back together from yesterday's award setup. And yeah, just so that you can see everything I need to do for the end of the year, I'm actually going to purge my classroom library books. I'm going to donate a lot of the books because um, we are not really, well, this whole year we were told not to let the students touch the books until the books were vetted. But we didn't get any instructions on how to do that until last week when the media specialist finally told us that we needed to scan all our library books or just let her know if we don't have a classroom library because they have to publish on the site all the books that the students have available to them in the classroom. So my students haven't touched my library at all. It's just been for aesthetic pleasing, you know, reasons. <laughs> um to make the classroom look pretty but i am going to get rid of a lot of my books so i'm going to look through all the books keep the ones that i want to keep and maybe donate the rest and i am not keeping my bookshelves 
and yeah i am going to empty all of those containers that are the sliding containers for this ikea furniture and i still have all these things on top of the cabinet that i need to clear out because that's where i'm going to start putting things away on top of the cabinets there is a very high chance that i won't be here next year so i won't be able to take a lot of my furniture with me that's why i'm just not worrying about the bookshelves for now I could still be here next year, but I don't know if I'm still going to be using as many bookshelves, but we'll see. I'm still playing it by year. But anyway, I'm going to gather my things and I'm going to get going. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. Coming to the end of the day Thursday. Students were just dismissed. So today we finished reading Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief with my block two this morning. They had chapters 21 and 22 to finish and then they started watching the movie they didn't get to finish watching that movie so tomorrow they'll go ahead and watch it i end with that class tomorrow and then with my block one which i had this afternoon they just went straight to watching the movie and they finished watching the entire thing and had some time to start watching the second movie since we're not reading the book but i am letting them know what things are different from the book that are in not in the movie or in the movie so it was a really relaxing day for that and not much was done because like we're already towards the end of the year tomorrow's friday and we're finishing off this week which is week 38 and i will let you know how it goes i am gonna go because it's really stormy outside i gotta get home by five for a pd that i'm doing this evening on zoom so i will see you tomorrow hello everyone it's the end of the day friday and i'm gotta make this quick because it is pouring outside and i don't want to get stuck here but we finished today off by finishing watching the movie percy jackson and lightning thief with my block two my block one finished watching the sea of monsters and then i started having my block two also watch the sea of monsters but then we took about Teresa's and good thing because right after dismissal it started to thunder and now it's pouring outside and i left my umbrella in the car oh boy now, I did not make any progress in my classroom, and I think that I have just been leaving as soon as contract hours come up because I have been sick. And I realized that me going home at contract hours, which is where I'm supposed to go, and going to sleep or resting has actually done a lot of good for my body. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today's video. Next week, I know I have a lot of things to do in just four days. Four days to pack up my classroom and figure out where all these things go because it pains me and it's very sad I am getting rid of my classroom library. A couple of teachers told me I could donate books to the local library, the public library, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get in contact with someone there maybe this weekend and let them know what I'm gonna do and hopefully that's something that I can, you know, at least put my books to some use, right? Uh, obviously I am gonna be looking through my books and deciding which ones I am gonna keep, but yeah, with the way things are right now, it's just really sad you know, thinking about this whole entire school year and the fact that I like to have my library open and available for all my students to just love reading and be surrounded by amazing books. And unfortunately, that became really difficult this year. And the way things are going to proceed from now into the foreseeable future doesn't look really good. It does seem like they are not really encouraging classroom libraries as much. And if you do have a classroom library, you have to make sure you scan all your books. And I have hundreds upon hundreds of books. So anyway and then next year i don't even know if i'll be it at my school and if i go to the new place that i'm possibly going to be hired at i won't need all these books so anyway wow it's really pouring outside i'm just gonna go ahead and go if you enjoyed coming along with me on this video don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you thought or questions you may have also if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos i hope you have a beautiful magical day and don't forget to smile Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.